Hello YouTube, we're going to disassemble this. Simpler terms, we're going to get it out. This battery shot will not hold a charge. If you charge it four hours before you're going to use it, it would be charged up, but it would only last about 15 minutes. I'm not buying another battery for it, I have another drill. So, so long to this. 18 volt battery pack. We're going to be running this on 12 volt. We're going to try to make another little rotary tool, so... Uh, we'll keep the keyless chuck because I don't think you'll get it off here. I do not know if there's a screw in here or not. We'll just let you know on film. Yes, there is. We may see if the chuck will come up, but I doubt it. I want to use this cordless or uh, keyless. You can do this. Uh, the reason I have a key chuck on my other big one so I can really tighten it up. Uh, we're just going with this on this one. It's going to be more light duty. So let's get it apart and see what's in it. We're not going to save the switch anything. We're going to have the motor wired like the other one where you just flip the leads on your car battery or power supply. So we're going to see what it looks like in here. We would like to keep the clutch. Definitely want to keep that. So we got to get it apart and do some measurements so we know what size plastic pipe we're going to need. Because we use PVC couplers. If you watch my other video on making the other rotary tool, that was actually just a couple of couplers stuck together. So, enough yakking. Less yak, more work. Stay tuned. Okay, hope we got enough light. It is kind of a cloudy, dreary day again. 55 degrees outside, and it is a blistering 85 degrees on the thermometer on the wall. I got carried away with my stove. Okay, back on the top. Hit, me, hit a screw. Hit a screw from me right there on that tank. I started prying when it come apart. See that? I thought I'd throw that in there. Let's see what it looks like. We don't need that. Garbage. So we're not saving the switch or anything. Uh, this is after, all we're after is the guts right here. Uh, said if I came across one of these near the switch, I may throw up my junk. But if you save that junk, you're just going to have stuff laying around for years. There's your selector from forward to reverse. So there was eight screws in there uh, a lot of scringe on there probably from the brushes some whatever lying ye motor 18 volts said we're gonna run it on 12 volts so we'll be firing this up here but uh, if you watch my other build I've used a coupler and I had to grind slots in it just to fit it but that kept that from spinning in there okay so you could use your clutch so Oh, we're off making another nice little tool, looks like. Pretty compact when you get down there, because this is all you want. We'll save these wires. We'll cut them down long. We don't need that no more. And this is the Harbor Freight and Famous $20 whatever drill master. It was good. I've had this thing for a lot of years. Uh, can't guess. I probably had it for half a dozen years. I just kept charging up about four hours before I was going to use it. Little LED bulb. I don't know what the voltage is. Most LED bulbs are either 3.7 volts or they're a special 12 volt one. So we will hook it to a small source like 3 volts and see how bright it is. Because we don't want to burn it up. There could be a resistor in here somewhere. We want to show these little pieces here. I don't know where that went. You'll have to tell me. Oh, this is at the bottom where the battery hooked on. I may save that might come across the battery someday but probably won't throw it away we may get the battery pack and just show the gut we may take just a picture of the battery pack in the video so you can see what kind of cells are in it so there we go let's talk more work we're just gonna fire this up on 12 volts and see what it runs like that's all you're gonna get in this video today so uh, there you go we'll actually snap a shot of that so stay tuned Okay, we did get the check to come loose. This loosens to the right, opposite of a regular bolt. It's not lefty loosey, it's righty loosey. Okay, total opposite, so it will tighten to the left. Uh, I had it in the vise, be careful, don't crush nothing, just so this couldn't spin. I set the clutch to drill, so it's tight again. Smack this with a hammer. A bigger wrench probably would have been better, but. You can probably tell I've used this before. <laughs> Look at the marks on there. 
Smack it with a hammer. If it don't work one time, smack me in. You're not likely to hurt it. Uh, you're really not likely to hurt the gears in there. But I will not. Don't quote me. I will not tell you what these threads are. I don't know if they're standard or not. So uh, I may check with another drill chuck before I'm done today. And then let you know before the video ends. Uh, but don't quote me on the threads there. Whether it's standard threads. So. Stay tuned, we're gonna, last thing we do, we're going to run on 12 volts, we'll see what it runs like. Okay, I just put the ruler up there, it looks like 3, but it is 24 pitch. I don't have a regular chuck, sorry, so you're on your own. At least you got this one, so. Uh, enough debating about that. I did the best I could for us, so until I find a regular USA chuck off an old drill, so. Stay tuned, last part of me running this and see how fast it runs. Okay, that's fast enough. We're not gonna grab onto it and see how much torque it is. That's not safe to go twist around on the bench and everything, but uh, it's gonna have plenty of torque. That's fast enough on 12 volts. It's probably just as good as that crappy 18 volt battery was. Thought I'd throw in here if you're still watching. There is a resistor on there. I took a picture of it. I can't tell the color code. There's formulas on the internet. So it's probably 3.7 LED, use whatever resistor to use 12 volts or 18 volts. So. Yeah, don't do what I'm doing, hurt yourself. You know there's going to be plenty of torque on it. There you go, thanks for watching. I'll leave a trick to the battery pack if I decide to gut it. So, thanks for watching. At least we know we got some good innards. To make another tool if you watch my other video this one ought to be easy the other one had a transmission shift lever and everything plenty of air coming out of that little motor plenty of air coming out of it so you make it make sure whatever pipe you use plastic use plastic only for safety um best to go watch my other video maybe i'll if when i if i build this i'll put a link to the other build video so that's enough talk we're out of here